Hello, my name is Mark Smithers, and today's video lecture is about applications of quadratic equations. So let me read this to you. The sum of the areas of two squares is 73 square yards. The side of the second square is five yards longer than the side of the first square, or the dimensions of each square. Okay, so anytime we have a problem like this, what we usually want to do is draw a picture. So let's do that. Okay, so here I draw in two squares. And let's let the side of the smaller square be represented by x. And let's let the side of the larger square be represented by x plus 5. Okay, we're getting that because it says right here that the side of the second square is what? It's 5 yards longer. Okay. Now after we do that, what do we need to do? Well, the second set... The first sentence tells us that what we're getting the area, the sum of the areas is two squares. So what's the form for the area of a square? The area of the square is what? Just side squared, right? Okay, so if the area of the square is side squared, and we know that the sum of these two squares equals 73 yards, then we can just add their squares. So the area of the first square is what? x times x. Or x squared. And we need to sum it. And then the area of the second square is what? x plus 5 squared. Okay, and what does all that equal? 73. Okay. So then what we need to do here is we need to solve for x. So first what I'm going to do is FOIL. Okay, so if I FOIL that out, I will get, let's see here, x squared plus 10x plus 25. Okay, so notice up there you got two x squares, so sometimes some students forget one of those x squares, so make sure you add those two together. Okay, and then let's see here, subtract 73 from both sides, so I'm going to get everything on one term, zero on, it, on the other side. So I'm going to subtract 73. Okay, and then when I do that, I'm going to come up with this equation. Okay, and then let's see here. Next, when I factor all that, comes out to looking something like this. Okay, so I have 2x minus 3 times x plus 8 equals 0. So I'm going to set both of those equal to 0. And when I solve for those two equations, I get... Okay, so we know that we're looking for what? We're looking for the sides of a square. So the sides of the square are always what? Well, they're always positive. So we can't have a negative 8 as part of our solution. Okay, so therefore the side of the smaller square is going to equal what? x is going to equal 3. 
So I'm going to plug in a 3 for the smaller square. And then 5 plus 3 is what? That's 8. And we know that what? The sum of those squares should equal 73. So 3 squared is 9. 8 squared is 64. So 64 plus 9, that gives us 73. So we know we're good. Okay, so this is my video lecture about applications of quadratic equations. And thank you for listening.